Hi, I'm Lloyd. I'm the sommelier here at Marcello's. Marcello's Restaurants here in Suffern, New York. Marcello is the brand ambassador for this line of wines, and these are the Terrasacre wines. So I had the pleasure of staying at the estate on my trip to Italy. It's in central Italy. They grow, uh, in this case for the red wine here, uh, their introductory red wine, they use a grape called Montepulciano, and Montepulciano is grown in Abruzzo and Molise. In Molise, it's called a, a Molise Rossa. Sacre is the Nero Vitae. Nero Vitae is their introductory red wine made from the Montepulciano grape. And this is a wine that is, uh, you know, very approachable. You can have it as a, a wine that you serve to guests when you have some people over on the weekend. You can serve this with dinner on a weeknight. It's made from the grape. It's aged from uh, about six months in French oak barrels. And it has this beautiful, um, aroma of dark rich fruit so berries and bright plums and the six months of oak aging give it this beautiful kind of background of baking spice and it's a beautiful wine to go with foods like this i put out here some nice rich uh, salami some fresh cheeses some crusty peasant bread and this is a type of wine you can enjoy with you know some lasagna on a weeknight a chicken dish a pork dish very very versatile So for the next course here, we've brought out the uh, a pure molise dish. So it's lamb meatballs that have been slow cooked in this rich tomato sauce and served over some artisanal pasta. So for this pairing, we took a wine that's purely uh, molise's as well. So this is from Terrasacre and this is their Tintilla. Tintilla is um, an indigenous grape to the area, very small production. It can only be grown in molise. Uh, at the estate, I had the pleasure of enjoying the 2009 vintage, which was rated 90 by Robert Parker. But now we're on 2012, and I thought in some cases this is drinking even better. It's got a little more opulence to it, a little richer. Um, you can have this dish with all kinds of rich foods. It has this beautiful uh, strain of balsamic that runs through the wine. It has 12 months of French oak that have been aged on half the wine and the other half in steel barrels. So it's not too intense. It just picked up some nice vanilla notes from the oak. And this wine you can enjoy with steaks that are right off the grill, all kinds of rich foods, harder cheeses, and um, you can enjoy at a party with your guests. So the next wine I have from Terrasacre is the Respetto. Respetto is also like the first one, the that I showed you. This is also made from Montepulciano, but it's a different selection. It's grapes that have all been sourced from the top of each hill from some of the oldest vines of Montepulciano. So it has a richer concentration. Everything about the Nero Vita I told you about in this case is richer and more decadent. The oak aging on this is 18 months in French oak barrels. So half of the oak is brand new and the other half has been done through one passage. And you could taste that in the wine. What it's done is it's picked up all these beautiful vanilla uh, and spice notes from the oak. The wine itself has very dark, rich, almost cooked like fruit to it. Plums, figs, uh, cherries, dark fruits like raspberry and uh, blackberries. And you can enjoy this with rich foods, uh, all kinds of uh, nice things. You can open a bottle on a holiday or someone's birthday. It's a fantastic wine and this is the flagship of the estate. So this is uh, one of the top dishes here at Marcello's. This is our octopus. So we do this beautiful appetizer with the octopus done with potatoes and Mediterranean olives, capers, and drenched in the olea, the extra virgin olive oil from Terrasacre. Terrasacre has 7,000 olive trees that circle the whole estate. And the wine I love to feature with this is the Rosavita. Rosavita is their uh, rosato, is in Italian, rosé in English. And this is made from Montepulciano, so it's a red grape, but it's just, you know, pressed softly and vinified very quickly. So you get this beautiful pink uh, rosé color, and it has the complexity of a red wine, but it's refreshing. This is a beautiful wine to serve on your patio when you have people over in the summer. It goes well with all the foods that you would eat in Italy on the coast. So if you would have octopus or uh, light fishes, tuna especially, bowl of uh, Mediterranean olives, and it has this beautiful aroma of strawberries, red apples, and raspberries. This is a fantastic wine. 
So to introduce everyone to Terrasacri's line of white wines, uh, the first one here is the Oravite. And Oravite is made with uh, Trebbiano. Uh, Trebbiano is grown all through Central and, and uh, Northern Italy. Uh, this is a very approachable white wine that we serve here in the restaurant all the time. It can go well with all different types of foods. The next one is Falangina. Falangina is indigenous to that area of Italy, uh, Central and Southern Italy. This is done on the estate. It has just a a little more body than the Oravita. It's a little bit richer, a little more mouthfeel, and it can be enjoyed with a little bit more richer food, some harder cheeses, some richer fish dishes. And then they have their flagship white. This is Oravera. Oravera is also made from Falangina, but it's a different selection. It's all the Falangina that's grown on some older vines, mostly from the hilltops of each vineyard site. And this is done just like you'd have a really nice with burgundy. They do a technique called bantage. And they do this with the Oravera. 12 months of aging in these brand new French oak barrels. And they do the bontage where it's stirred, the leaves are moved, it gives the wine tons of complexity. And that's where you get these beautiful notes of brioche, floral notes, there's candied fruit. And it's just a really elegant wine that should be paired with very sophisticated dishes. I hope you'll enjoy. So I hope you enjoyed the presentation of the line of wines from Terra Sacre. Uh, they're fabulous wines that be a great addition to anyone's cellar or to enjoy at home uh, to keep a couple of bottles of white in the fridge, a couple of bottles of red on hand. If you are interested in these wines and they don't have them at your local wine shop, you please reach out to the proprietor and make sure they get their hands on these beautiful wines. If for some reason you can't find these wines, you could always come see us at the restaurant and we'll help you out and get you in touch with people that can get this into your cellar. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed my presentation.